the dark side, side, side. Hey guys, Crazy Cries Gaming here. I want to give you uh, a quick how-to video of uh, to using a controller for your Minecraft on PC. So I found this out uh, searching other YouTubers' videos, and I wanted to make my own um, tutorial on how to do this because I ran into some issues that were not stated in the video and I will show you how to get around them so what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to the link in my description and um, also now that I brought this up um, this works with Xbox 360 controller I use a Logitech Chillstream it's an older controller it, it looks kinda of like the Xbox 360 controller um, and I'm sure you can use any, um, any other controller with this there's plenty of videos like for instance right here of how to connect a PS4 controller to PC so I'm sure you can find all that out on that yeah all that out on your own in a Google search so what we want to do is go to this link here now there's going to be a couple pop-ups don't click anything just wait and um, okay so you see at the top right it says skip ad now I might get a pop up here I'm gonna shut that right away okay so now we got we're at Josh carriers black so down here in the installation section there is this file right here this link you wanna click that so now once that's clicked I already have it downloaded so you're gonna wanna go it's right here you're gonna well you might have to extract it um, or you I'm using Windows 10 for this so this does work on Windows 10 and it works all the way back as far as XP um, from what I heard so this is proof right here that it works with Windows 10 so um, you just hit you know launch and it'll open up Java and go through the installation of that and all that but I had an error message which was a high-risk security threat um, so as you can see I have it downloaded um, Java sometimes is a little strict on things like this so like with other with even some games that are completely safe uh, such as you, what you will see so you want to go down and you want to go to your Java uh, control panel here configure Java so you want to go to the security tab you want to go to edit so, so as you can see I had trouble opening Haven and Hearth um, which was a very which is a very fun game I haven't played it in a while but that's beside the point so you want to go to edit site list you want to click on add and then down here you would type in what I have right here uh, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash update dot Josh J carrier dot com and then you would just click enter after that and it would add it um, to your exceptions so that it won't be blocked so that get around that if you get that error like I did um, now well up here is you have your you have to have your controller plugged in with a wire so whatever you have is if it's a wireless um, controller um, wired controller you know uh, you have to plug in those wires and plug it into your USB so right here you can see my controller shows up already I have it plugged in so you have to select this controller uh, X USB gamepad that's that's what mine's named yours might be something different um, and also up here there's just Minecraft so as you can see you can configure the buttons yourself um, also um, you should calibrate your controller um, I do believe they say that's good to calibrate calibrate your controller um, so before you 
uh, use it on your PC um, which is easy to do and um, you could change these buttons uh, whatever you know whatever you want to you whatever your preferences are all right so um, so let's uh, get op open up some minecraft and uh, look well look, first before we open minecraft I just picked up my controller um, and I'm using it to control my PC uh, right now I'm using it to move the cursor around um, it does take a little getting used to the sensitivities and things like that so um, but you know uh, you can do I, I mean I don't <laughs> PC isn't really meant for a controller but Minecraft I had a little trouble getting used to it so um, with the because I was always a console Minecraft player never really got into it on the PC until the last week or so so this helped me out a lot so um, I'm going to show you Minecraft with it and we can go through some of the get a feel for it actually okay guys I'm back here um, as you can see I'm in Minecraft now I'm using the gamepad uh, the Logitech chill stream to navigate through Minecraft uh, right trigger is you know punching blocks and such things attacking um, a is jump uh, Y is to bring open your uh, your inventory um, we can actually do some things with um, on the d-pad with uh, you know looking at third person views go back to first person views down on the d-pad save a screenshot uh, left or uh, uh, was it right right on the d-pad to bring up all the information here um, and also the right okay let's bring open the inventory again and uh, well actually the inventory at the bottom keep an eye on um, so as you can see I'm going through these with the bumpers and um, so uh, if you want to run you want to run it's just uh, it takes a little getting used to the uh, sensitivity and I do need to calibrate my controller but uh, to run is just double click forward on the um, left joystick uh, crouching or sneak mode I should say is clicking down the left thumbstick um, jump and oh, here's another way to jump on the right clicking the right or the R3 button the right joystick I should say and this is pretty much however you like it um, let's see what start and uh, the back button do if they do do so start just pauses pretty much um, so it's that's it guys it's it's pretty cool like I'm using the Logitech chill stream I'll show you what it looks like uh, after this video is uh, over and I'm going to jump to my death because this is the way I roll so um, yeah alright so I'll see you when we get back to the next part of the video hey guys um, I'm back I I wanted to show you the actual controller that I'm using so this is the controller um, it's it's very nice controller. it's very old um, I've had it for many years it's never failed me um, and as you can see it's a lot similar besides that it has the fact that it has fans built into it to keep your your palms cool your hands cool um, even on the back and on the front here on these vents um, as you can see in these pictures there's vents right here that just blows cool air on your on your hands which is not necessary and all but and there's a controls for uh, the fan speeds whether you want them on or off and uh, high or low so that's my video if you have any questions or comments um, put them down there and in the sec comments section 
um, please give a thumbs up for me um, subscribe if you want but if you do subscribe let me know uh, most times I'll subscribe back and uh, please share if this can help anybody else out all right because a lot of people um, been want have been uh, wandering around looking for a way to use a controller with Minecraft and here is a simple easy free way to do it so thanks for watching guys and have a great day and happy gaming